Okay, we were trying to get the lines out the boat. David hooked up this fish. He swam over everything. Look at the carnage left behind. And this male is hyped <laughs> up. He's giving David hang. Yeah. Jeez. He's not playing. David, try to spin him <laughs> as you can, brother. I can spin. I got him now. Oh, he is mad. Yeah, I've never he's seen not him. happy with I've it. I've never seen he. He's hyped up. <laughs> He's, he, I guess he's still in spawn mode. I don't know, but he is aggravated. It's a good fish, brother. Yeah, he is. Hey, you want to throw him in, on the board in this carnage? And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Man, I feel like crap we didn't get the fight because he, it was a good fight. Okay, brother. Put him on his belly. There you go. Uh huh. What we got? About 39, 38. 38. 38 inches good catfish yeah i don't know if he maybe recently come off spawn this august catfish are coming off spawn and they hungry they are feeding we didn't even get all the lines out the boat uh we caught one smaller fish i don't think we got the footage of that one because i thought this camera we didn't even have the camera set up yet mistake on my part i usually set them up before i leave the boat ramp i just forgot to do it this morning all right okay david let's see if we can get this boy back in the water <laughs> and get this carnage uh, fixed and uh all right, come on, fella. try to keep rolling in. again we might have to reset and redrag this area uh, nice he's in let me do an intro welcome to jim's catfishing and gear you seen david's with me this morning out here on lake moultrie fishing a little shallow because it's still early we got the lines out the boat at about 6 15 we hooked up with that fish about 6 30 i realized my camera wasn't on uh, grabbed it hung it up and didn't even didn't even hit uh, record on it but we're getting lines back out again had to cast everything back out we had to re rig well i had some rigs made we had to chop off some lines uh it was just gonna take too long to get we got we got most of the line out of the water at least anyways we just had a big knot to bomb the boat but um yeah dr pulling eight rods at the boat you know sometimes it's <laughs> stuff like that happens but i don't care we got the fish david got the fish that was a great fish so it's a good start to the morning. Let's see if we get another one to go with that big boy. Stay tuned. Up. Oh. Yeah, I think we got a fish on this one. We can't let David catch all the fish today. <laughs> David's already got two fish in the boat this morning. We didn't have our cameras on. The first one was a smaller one, so I'm not gonna lie about a small fish. Get this one tucked in a little bit. Get my fan turned yeah. off. Y'all hear that noise running in the back? It's hot out here. I run a little fan and sometimes I forget to turn it off. Yeah, I've seen this one bump like twice, David, and um, the rod just started slowly going the other way. It wasn't a hard takedown. And I feel like crap I lost the takedown from the one David caught because he ripped drag. And David had already caught the one fish. He said, hey, it's your turn. I said, nah, man, that's a big one. You go ahead and get it because I got the big one last time. So. And then we thought it was in the third takedown. <laughs> yeah. And he was just knotted up. Yeah, we thought it was the third fish, but he actually crossed over. I wish we caught that on camera. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing off altogether. He crossed over another line, and then that line snagged on a stump. He was able to get it. I don't think there's no big one like the one you caught, David. You never know. But I've caught more than one big fish in a trip before, but nah. David, I think your fish broke my PC on the rail. It's acting funny. It's acting funny? Nah, I'm just like this time. All right. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Hey, man, there's nothing Hold wrong up. with that one. <laughs> there's nothing wrong you with that. You gotta him. hold him like this. Yeah. Sorry, hey, I had to do it. <laughs> David's got a nice, I, clean, pretty shirt, and when he picked up that catfish, he didn't think he's getting that fish dirty. You gotta but... run your arm around him like this. There you go. There you go. That's there him. Go. That's him right there. That's him right there. 
<laughs> nice and slimy. But you can see these males are definitely coming off spawn. It's August. It's time for him to do it. He's all beat up, all chewed up. Let's get him back in. Let me drop him off right back here. For now. Okay, I think we hooked up again. David said it was his turn, but <laughs> he done caught one big fish and I caught a little one. Can we reel something in? Yeah, reel this one in a little bit. All right. And I'll reel this one in. Try to get these out of the way. So like we keep hitting on this outside boards, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, I got He's this thing. Hooked. You got that one? Yeah. Yeah, bring it right in close. See if we can redeem ourselves. We got the camera recording this time. These rod holders I have right here below the camera, really, you don't catch the takedown. But it was a pretty good takedown, David. I told David, I said, we'll, my fan quit because it's so hot out here. I told Dave we didn't get a bite in 20 minutes. We heading back to the house and I'm getting smoking hot out here. We were at about eight foot deep for a while. And they really didn't mark them with nothing, just a bunch of snag ups. We hit 10 foot and then we get this one. Got that one on the B-cap board. Here, I got it. There we go. I think we clear now. I'm here playing the board. Just gonna take it off, get it out of the way. You know what happened last time. I think I do. Got it. He thought he was free. I took that one off. Oh. Yeah, the uh, the spawn is over pretty much. We've been catching a bunch of big males that's really beat up. Well, not a bunch of big ones, but a few of them have been big in the mm -hmm. past couple of trips. Really beat up. They're definitely feeding. They're trying, they're trying to put weight back on because when they spawn, they don't eat nothing. They just sit right on the eggs. The male, the males do. Them lazy females, they just drop the eggs and leave. <laughs> eh, he's not that big. He's kind of spinning for some reason. He's beat up though. Another beat up male looks like. He's all tore up. Oh yeah, look at that. Not too bad. Handy dandy monster rod holder net. He's all beat up. Whoa. Okay, here we go. You can see some of these fish, some of these males. Like this one is really thinned out because they're they're coming off spawn and they're trying to pack on some more weight. Geez, a big catfish had him locked up. Look at his tail. Just imagine the catfish that chomp down on this mm. guy probably the one we caught earlier yeah did you call because he was he was aggravated <laughs> yep let's get him back in there you go buddy that's be it for this episode of jim's catfish in a gear i would stay longer my fan broke and this is hot it's hot out here so yeah but now we got the lines in it's a breeze of course <laughs> now the but, breeze is coming out <laughs> yeah but anyway it was a pretty good trip. It was just a short trip. What, about three, four hours? Exactly. Caught some good fish right off the rip. David hooked that big one. We caught another one in the boat. It don't count because... <laughs> yeah. It didn't get recorded, but there's pictures we got, of it. We got the fish. But for some reason, we got this habit of, I catch bigger fish on his boat, and he catches bigger fish on my boat. I think we just need to trade boats. Trade boats. He needs to give me that brand new boat. But I don't think it's going to happen. But we appreciate everybody's support. To the next episode of Jim's Catfish in the Gear. With David, we're out.